In this Photoshop tutorial, we'll take a look at the Typekit fonts that you can access with your Creative Cloud subscription. So what you want to do is open a new document in Photoshop and take out the type tool and let's put in a piece of type. Let's call this Typekit fonts. And I'm going to hit Control T to scale this up. And if you pull these little corners here, you can make it bigger. I prefer to do that rather than typing in a point size manually. If you hold shift, you can also constrain this without it squishing or squashing. So let's just make it nice and big here. Now, if we go to our font list here in the character palette, we can add fonts from Typekit. So what that means is there's a bunch of fonts that are available. And if you want to basically license them for free, you can do that. Once you've clicked on that, this Typekit window will open. And this is showing you all of the possible fonts that you can sync to your computer and use. Now you can search for specific kinds of fonts, like, like for instance, in the classification, if you wanted a sans serif, you could select that. Sans serif means it's not gonna have these little doodads on the ends, like we have here. This is, these are serifs. Script means it's kind of a handwritten or custom kind of cursive font. And then block letters kind of more calligraphy style hand is like handwritten fonts so let's look in here these comic fonts are kind of cool so maybe we'll go with classic comic so i'm going to click here on use fonts and then you can just choose regular italic bold bold italic or you can choose all of them i'm going to choose all of them i'm going to hit sync selected fonts now you have to make sure that creative cloud application is running with font sync turned on so I have to launch the Creative Cloud application. I'll do that here. Now this is open and this is showing me all of the fonts that I've synced. And the good thing is, according to Adobe, you can sync up to 100 fonts simultaneously. Now I don't tend to use a whole lot of fonts and 100 is probably more than most people will need. So that's a pretty good deal considering that this is free with your Creative Cloud subscription. So besides searching by classification, you can also search with properties if you want a thicker or thinner font, wider, skinnier font, contrast, and so on. You can also choose sample text. You could put in type kit and this is gonna show you how each font's gonna look, so that's pretty handy. If you have a particular title that you wanna add a font to, this helps you preview that really quick. And you can of course make this bigger or smaller if you wanna see more or less of that particular font. You can also view it as a row rather than a bunch of boxes. So you can see Typekit is really handy not only for scoring fonts, but you can also preview fonts really easily and really just find certain fonts. Like if you have a client who you're working with that says, hey, I want kind of like a handwritten font, uh, rather than looking through a thousand fonts on your computer, you just go, okay, handwritten, bam, click on that. And then they go, okay, well, let's see all the handwritten fonts. Oh, I kind of like this felt tip Roman. And then it narrows it down. Or if they say, no, I don't think I like handwritten. I think I want something that's more like script or cursive. You can click on that. And then you have all of those fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize Creative Cloud. I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna hide this window. And I'm gonna look in Photoshop for that font. And I don't remember what it was called, so I can just click on the filter here to filter out the type kit fonts. And it was classic comic bold. Now I have this nice comic style font and I could add tons and tons more fonts in here if I want other fonts. I really like this Azo Sans Uber. This works really good for a nice thick bold font. And there you go, that's how you can add fonts. Again, it's important to remember that you need to have the Creative Cloud application running to sync the fonts to your computer. So if you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, you can click that subscribe button to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Thursday for another Photoshop tutorial.